Let me know. Give me a thumbs up when you're ready. All right, perfect. So uh, this is my drill. I have never seen anyone else do it like this. So technically, I'm gonna name it after me, just so I can get something in the community. It'll be like TT's regrab drill. Anyways, uh, let's go over regrab drills. Very simply, you're just gonna use these cubes in tunnel. There are six cubes. You do not want to use the center lane because there's a big gap in the middle. You technically can, but you probably want to avoid it for the in terms of pacing. So you have four lanes in each tunnel. You can run up to eight people at a time. Um, what you're looking for to start. Um, is to just very gently pull yourself so that the cube hits you right in the center of your chest, character chest model. So ideally it'll probably be like an inch or two under your chin. You want to make sure you get a nice straight pull. So just go ahead and start this for me. All you're going to do is give me a very gentle pull and make sure that it goes straight through, okay? Nice and gentle, nice and gentle. Straight through, okay? Perfect. So what we're aiming for, for in terms of step one, is to make sure that you have a nice straight grab. Now, the way to actually test how straight your grab is, is to do one pull and then just sort of watch how many cubes you get. As you can see, I was slightly up, right? So right there, that's a lot better. I'm gonna hit like three or four cubes, right? But you can do one pull and see how accurate it is. Now, in game, you don't really need to do that. You just gotta do pull one, one at a time. So that's step one, get nice straight pulls, okay? Once you get a nice straight pull pretty consistently, you wanna get multiple pulls to increase the tempo of your regrabs. So you wanna imagine there's a second imaginary cube right here. So you're gonna pull once, pull twice, and hit. Pull once, pull twice, and hit, right? So you're gonna pull twice between each cube. You guys wanna give that a try for me? I don't want you guys. Right, so you're pulling twice, nice and gentle. You're not trying to get a fast pull, you're trying to get an accurate pull. Right, and again, there's four lanes, so Connor, go ahead and move up one for me, okay? After this one. Yeah, yeah there you go. Just like that. Two nice, two easy pulls, okay? It shouldn't be super fast right now. At this point, you're just making sure you're straight. Now, we're gonna break down regrabs into uh, a few other elements as well. Yo. <laughs> Yo, what's up, Yo, what's up, Gary? What up? Yeah, just like a simple little regrab drill, all right? So um, in terms of regrabs, there's three elements to every single regrab. There is an auto grab, there is a pull, there's a pull of some kind, right? Whether it's a flick, a pull, or a twist. There's some kind of pull, and then there's a release. There's three steps to it, okay? So what I want you to do for the next drill as we're doing this, you're gonna go back to doing just one pull, but try to get a fast pull. Try to get four meters per second with every single pull. Right, so just give me a fast pulse. So go ahead, try that for me. Give me fast pulse. You wanna be accurate so that the thing hits you right in the chest. All right, there's four lanes, so just spread out. Four lanes, spread out, yeah, yeah, not the middle one. Great, just give me fast pulse, okay? Again, one at a time, fast pulse. Make sure you're accurate, it hits you right in the center of your chest, okay? Uh, Fearing, go a little higher. It's hitting you in the head right now. You want it a little bit lower. Yeah, yeah, you wanna hit it, um, you wanna hit it like another, probably like another inch or two underneath. Does that make sense? Right now your head's going, so when your partner has their hand in front, they're, they're gonna, if you just pull into it, they're gonna grab your head by accident. Right, yeah, there you go, just like that. Papa looks good, Hop looks good. All right, so now once that feels pretty comfortable where you're able to get good, like at least three meters per second pulls, right? Go ahead and give me two pulls between each cube. So imagine there's a imaginary cube, right? So again, you're pulling twice, and going fast. So that's the modifier. You're going straight, then multiple, then fast, okay? Hell yeah, this is tight up. Yeah, so that's the three modifiers right now. Just with this, you should be able to go pretty quickly with your partner, okay? Yeah, okay. just think now, someone's in there. Just think someone's in between the squares. Exactly, nice. imagine, <clears throat> imagine the cube is your partner's hands and you're aiming for your partner's hands, okay? Now, okay, now let's pause for a second. Once that feels pretty comfortable, right? So that's a, that'll be a third stage. The fourth stage is to add a pre-pull. So remember how I mentioned each re-grab has a auto-grab, has a pull, and then a release. Right now, most people, what happens is they'll auto-grab, they'll hit your hand, you'll pull, and then you'll release. That's a normal pace of an auto-grab. So let me show you what that looks like. Normally, there'll be a bit of a stutter when you auto-grab, right? So for example, you'll see this most prominently when you're with your partner. That it's like you pull into them, and then it's like it takes a second, and then they pull, right? Do you know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. Yo, yeah, right, okay. So again, there's like a stutter, right? Like this, pop, pop, stutter, pop, pop, stutter, right? What you want to do with a pre-pull is to actually hit the block or hit your partner in the middle of your pull, 
okay? Now, um, there's another step to this, but we'll add that later, right? So ideally, you would have minimal stutter, right? You see how that looks different than this? Pull, 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 right? Even though I'm touching the same cube, if I'm doing pa, 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 do you see how that's a lot smoother? Does that make sense? You're getting a pre -pull. Absolutely, yeah. So here, give that a try for me, okay? So again, first modifier that's the most important is straight. If you're not straight, your stack's gonna break up, but it doesn't matter how fast you pull, because you're gonna break up. You're not gonna be re-grabbing anymore. Next, you wanna get a higher tempo, right? Because it's not gonna be pull, pull, pull. It's gonna be tap, 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 all right? Next, you wanna make sure that you get a ni nice fast pull, so you get four meters per second. Because if you get a two meter per second pull, you have to work twice as hard as someone who gets a four meter per second pull. Does that make sense? Yeah. And then finally, you wanna pre-pull. And now this is gonna be based on tempo with your partner, but this is a good uh, drill to do it. With your partner, you should be getting them in the minute, uh, in the moment of your pull, so that then there's very minimal stutter. So when, the way you see this in action is if you have a partner and it's like you pull and the moment you have your hand out, right, they already pulled into your hand, right? It shouldn't be like pull, wait a second. Okay, they hit your hand. It should be pull, 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 pull like that. Now there's one more element to this that that isn't being addressed, which is your start point and your end point. So there's a range of motion for every single pull, okay? For example, um, I'm gonna talk about regrabs as like, there's different styles of it. The two most popular is a pulling style and the other one is a flicking style. There are third options, which some people use a twisting style and I've seen all kinds of weird stuff. But generally, uh, it's a pull or a flick. What I mean by range of motion and like the distance is that um, if you imagine your pull, if you pull from here to here like this as a pull, your re is gonna be slower, right? You wanna have what a little pump. A double pull. A uh, double pull is a whole different topic that I, I think like is this, absolutely you know? terrible. Like, yeah, I think it's absolutely <laughs> terrible. Um, that's a whole different topic. Okay, well, I'll talk about that later, but double pulls have an issue that, I, that I'll address later. But anyways, um, in terms of right now, what I want you to think about is you want your range of motion to be quick and small. The smaller your range of motion, the faster your re-grabs are gonna be. If you can get them right in the middle of your small range of motion, that's when you're gonna optimize your re-grab speed, right? And the other thing too is, if you imagine character model, the more I have my hands out, the farther the character model has to travel, so your re-grab's gonna be slower. So you wanna have a small range of motion close to the center of your chest as much as possible, okay? So try that again, go fast, go multiple times. Uh, no, sorry, sorry, go straight, Go multiple, go fast with a pre-pull with a small range of uh, small range of motion. That's how you're gonna maximize regrabs, standard regrabs. So those will essentially be the stages of it. Okay. Perfect. And then we'll talk about this in a second. Again, as you add more steps, your accuracy should decrease because you're now you're doing something new, essentially, right? But if you think about it, if you're going fast, or if you're going straight, you're going multiple times, you're going fast, you're going with a pre-pull, and you're going with a limited range of motion. If you can get used to that, your regrabs will be a lot better, right? They'll just go faster and smoother. All right, and then we'll talk about one other thing after this. All right, now. Yeah, I have to do one more, so once we come back to this side. Okay, now, next step for this. So th there's only so much you can do with regrabs. At some point, the character model and the limitation that you, you just can't go any faster, okay? At that point, then, you do backwards regrabbing, and you can use this exact same drill for backwards regrabbing. So instead of pulling, you push, right? Exact same thing. And I think, personally, the reason why backwards regrabbing works so well is because when we're facing chest to chest, our character model has suddenly shrank. So here, uh, Connor, come with me for a second. Come stand here for a second. All right, just hang out, just hang out right there. Okay, put your hand out in a regrab, right? Okay, now, again, this is probably like a standard regrab, right? The hand's really far apart, right? Look how much distance I have to travel to be able to get to them, right? Now, okay, reset. Now put your hand closer to your chest. Now, again, much faster, right? Okay, reset, reset. All right, same position. Stay, stay there, put your hands. Okay, now put your hands up and auto grab. Again, right? The character model has increased from here to here to here, okay? So that's why backwards rear grabbing in my, uh, at least mentally for me, that's why backwards rear grabbing is faster because your character models have decreased. With the same amount of pulls, like, or pushes for backward re grabbing, you would have a much faster re grab because you're reducing the amount of distance you needed. Does that make sense? Yeah, and seeing it laid out like that really kind of brings it to light, right? I yeah. mean, like, 
Like those are big different like differences on each step. Yeah, right. Right. Like if you take a look, put your hands out like standard, right? Look how much distance I got, right? Versus this. Look how much distance we got. Right? Like I'm like right there. Right? So it, that's the the huge difference. Now with this drill, you do the same modifiers, right? You backwards re-grab straight first. Right? Then you backwards re-grab multiple times. Right? And then you backwards re-grab multiple times with a full like with a fast push. And then you want to backwards re-grab with a, a straight, multiple, fast, and then with a pre-push. I can't do it. <laughs> I'm still working on it. <laughs> right? But you would, see, that's I still fast, stutter. Man. If I don't stutter, like, if I can get that down, that's why I think my backwards are going to get, like, hit another level. But I can't, uh, I can't pre-pause well because now you don't see where they are, right, where the cube is. So you got to have in your head a mental timing of when you should push. You're not going to have the, the visual feedback. It's got to be a timing thing, probably with your partner. But those are the steps for the regrab drill. Uh, questions? Man. Questions? Questions? No. No. I think how we're good. how have right. how have these blocks not been used like this before? This is brilliant. You can wow, do this by yourself. Yeah, yeah, that's the other cool thing about this. You don't actually need a regrab partner to practice your regrabs, which is something that um, I think almost everybody has said, which is like you need a partner to practice your regrabs, and and I don't think that's true. Um, you do need a partner to practice regrabs with directional changes, but going straight, I don't think you can do this entirely solo. All right, that covers everything, I think. All right. Thank you, man. Really Thoughts? appreciate that. Thoughts? That's huge. Thoughts? That yeah. Sense. Cool. Cool.